girl Jen and welcome back. This is the first episode of Favorites for 2017. Very exciting. And if you are a sucker for monthly favorites like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do a monthly favorite every month and I haven't missed one since I want to say 2013. So I'm pretty committed. <laughs> with that said, let's get started with the video. So my first favorite is gonna be this top from Bardot. This is a really soft, comfortable t-shirt with a nice graphic. It's got two X's right where the nips are. I love that even though it's such a simplistic and minimalist design, it makes a huge statement. I actually was rocking this in my January vlogs for a couple of days and a lot of you guys were wondering where it was from so I thought it would be appropriate to just stuff it in this favorite so you guys can have the link. I also wore this shirt while I was at the Women's March a couple of weeks ago and I thought it was very appropriate there. This material is super soft so it's something that you can just wear around the house to a brunch or to a march. For this month, I'm super proud to announce that I partnered with Audible. You guys know how much I love reading and audiobooks are no exception. For those who don't know what Audible is, it's a service where you can listen to a huge library of audiobooks, news, radio, the list goes on. And this month, I listened to Modern Romance by Aziz Ansari. And if you're a fan of Aziz, you're gonna freaking love this audiobook. He narrates it so perfectly. He breaks down what it's like to be dating in this day and age. And honestly, our situation is unique to say the least. We've got the invention of online dating, we've got Tinder, we've got texting etiquette, all these things that are factors on how we fall in love now and how that affects us. And just this whole audiobook was a lifesaver because as most of you guys know by now, I've got a sty in my eye, I had to do hot compresses, and it was just nice to listen to his voice and laugh while I was laying down in bed. But my sty aside, audiobooks are amazing because you can just play it while you're around the house cleaning, tidying up, or when you're driving, that's also great when you're in traffic. Uh, it's just great to be entertained and have your hands free. Right now, Audible is having a free 30-day trial membership. All you have to do is go on audible.com slash close and get started. There's literally hundreds and thousands of options there. So if you are not the type to read or you're too lazy to read, audiobooks might be your new thing. Next up, I have a fashion favorite. I have to talk about these silver hoop earrings. I've just been loving the look of obscenely large hoop earrings and this definitely satisfies my craving. What's special about these earrings is definitely this little rivet right in the center. I just love little details like this. But honestly, you can just probably search extra large hoop earrings on Amazon or eBay and you should get something similar. I want to give you a warning that it can get a little bit or it can be a little bit hazardous. One time when I was hanging out with my friend, this hoop got stuck in her sweater. So that wasn't the coolest moment for me, but sometimes you gotta sacrifice stuff for the look. Right now, I wanna introduce you guys to a new section of my favorites videos. This is gonna be called the face of the month. So it's gonna be a makeup look that I've been rocking that particular month. So in January, since I had my sty, I wasn't able to rock any eye makeup until it cleared up. So this is the face of the month. This whole phase made me a lot more minimal with my makeup. So to get this look, I just skipped foundation altogether. I just used concealer. I used this one by Maybelline. It's their Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I would just pop it underneath my eyes, around the nose, the mouth, and I would just blend that all in. Then for my powder, I'm still using Rimmel Stay Matte. I always come to this guy. No matter what powder I use, I just, just nothing beats this one in my opinion. So I use that to seal it. Then for my brows, I use these guys from Benefit. It's the Goof Proof Brow Pencil and the Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I just use these as like a duo and I would take my time with my brows because since there's nothing else on the face, the brows are all you notice so you might as well make them look good. Then for the rest of the face, I used Pony FX Marvelous Contour Palette. I really love this bronzer because it's really light, buildable. For the blush, I use this nice faded coral shade and it just adds a little like slight flush on the cheeks and then since I was lazy I just popped this highlighter on as well. This isn't the craziest of highlighters but it's enough to give your face more of a dewy look. For the lip color I pretty much chose anything under the sun. Since there's no eyeshadow to compete against you can really wear whatever color that you want. Uh, but my favorite and natural choice was this one by Hourglass. This is called Dreamer and this is just a nice soft pinky coral shade. This color is just my jam right now. I love corals. There's something about it. So yeah, that was the face of the month. I am really excited about this segment because this is gonna challenge me to really 
practice and experiment with different makeup looks. I mean, some will be good, some will not be as good, uh, but we'll see. It's all the fun process of it. And if you guys particularly like a look, then make sure you write it in the comments down below so I can film a proper tutorial for you. My next favorite is something that I used every single day in January and hopefully for the rest of 2017. It is my happiness planner. I love this guy so much. Sorry, this is like literally looks like a Bible. It looks like I'm about to like go to church right now. Uh, but I love this guy. I am definitely the type that needs to plan whatever that's in my head. It needs to go on paper right away or else I'll feel this weight on me that gives me anxiety. So planners are a godsend. I actually featured this in my holiday gift guide, but this was for me. So I wanted to give you guys another shout out because now I've actually used it and it's been working for me so, so well. I feel like I've been so much more productive and a lot happier because of it. And let me explain why. So every day, the first thing you fill out is what you're excited about that day. So it can be something obvious like it being New Year's Day or or like it could be like something simple like a clean cheeky. That's the day we took Cheeky to the groomers and she was very clean that day. It was very nice. And then you'll have a section of all your to-dos and it only gives you seven slots. And at first I thought that that wasn't enough. But as I'm using this, I realized that honestly seven major things are all I can fit in a day. Anything more can just be bled into the next day. My old planner and my old system, I would literally write out every little thing I had to do from waking up, brushing my teeth, <laughs> making breakfast, making the bed, and I feel like all that stuff kind of almost made my life a little bit more like convoluted because I was remembering every little detail every day. And at first I thought that system worked out for me, but having this system is so much more freeing. And so far I'm proud to say that I have pretty much finished all the things I needed to do because if there's a box that's not ticked, I'm like, and then at the end of the day, you reflect and you write the good things about that day. So for this day, I wrote enchiladas. And then the last section is what you're grateful for. And this section gets pretty repetitive, but it makes you, it makes me reflect on just a person or something that has positively influenced my life. And I think it's great. I feel like this has been making me a happier person for sure. And it just, every day I'm excited to fill it out because it's one thing off the list and it gives my day structure. I know bullet journaling is trending right now, but I wish I could have like the skill and the patience to manually draw everything out. Um, I like this system because it just has the entire template out for you. So you don't have to think about writing out every little thing. This works for me, different things work for different people. All right guys, that concludes my January favorites. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you have any favorites or recommendations, make sure you write it in the comments down below. Or you can just write a comment and hang out. Uh, every time I upload for the first hour, I try to respond to as many comments as I can. So come say hi, and I would love to hear about your day or what you're excited about. Um, today, I'm excited about going to a holiday party. I know it's pretty late because it's near the end of January, but since, there were so many holiday parties in December, they actually had to plan it in January so everyone would be there. So I'm excited to go to that. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah. Oh my God, why am I burping so much? I didn't even have any Coke or anything.